<laughs> oh, hey there, sparkling learners. My name is Marco. Can you help me find out what we are going to learn today in math with this special song? Join in and sing with them. Okay, don't go anywhere. you have guessed correctly what we are going to learn. Yes, today we are learning to count in fives. And by the end of the lesson, you will be able to count, read, and write forwards and backwards in fives from any number. For today's math, you will need your Power Math Book 1B, some writing materials, your 10 frames and your counters, number grid 1 to 50, and your number line. For power up, we are going to do ideas at 60. Write the word shapes on your paper or whiteboard, just like this. Think of the words that come to your mind related to shapes. Write them on your paper or your whiteboard at the countdown of 60. So, are you ready? Okay, pencils up and your time starts now. Time is up and pencils up. Let's pause and think. How many baseballs are there in five tubes? Hmm. They seem a lot. I think I need help. Astrid says, I will count them one by one. Let's try to do that. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, and twenty-five. Twenty-five baseballs. Flo says, I will count in fives. Let us try this. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 25 baseballs as well. So there are 25 baseballs in five tubes. Both Astrid and Flo helped us find the answer. But which method helped us better? Counting in ones? or counting in fives. Yes, absolutely. Counting in fives helped us better because it is easier, faster, and a more accurate method. Which math tool do you think can we use 
to count in fives. Yes, I agree. Let's use a number line to help us count in fives. I hope you are ready with your number line. Now circle the numbers on the number line as we count together. Let's start with zero. When we take five jumps from zero, we land on five. We take five jumps again and land on 10. Another five jumps and we land on 15. Then five more jumps and we land on 20. And finally, five more jumps and we land on 25. So, there are 25 baseballs in five tubes. Let's answer another question. How many baseballs in six tubes? And let's still use our number line. Ash says, I wonder if I have to count again from the beginning. Hmm, what do you think, children? That's smart thinking. Nope. Since we already know that there are 25 baseballs in five tubes, we count on in fives from 25. So we start from 25. Take five more jumps and we land on 30. So there are 30 baseballs in six tubes. Let's practice counting in fives from any number. Help Mr. Rabbit start at five and count in fives. Look at the hops or jumps he makes and count with me. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Now, let's help him start at 30 and count in fives. To make him hop, say the next number. 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. I had fun counting in fives. How about you? How many fingers do you have in one hand? Yes, five fingers. So if you have five fingers in one hand, how many fingers in four hands? Let's represent them on 10 frames. Now, get your 10 frames ready. Let's put the counters on the 10 frames together. Okay, what does each counter represent? Yes, each counter represents one finger. So, are we going to count them one by one? No. Counting in fives will be a better way to count or a more efficient way. So let's count and draw circles around each set of fives. This is one set of fives, another set of fives, here's one more set of fives, and another set of fives. Okay, count along with me. 5, 10, 15, 20. So, there are 20 fingers in four hands. Let's think together. Look at the numbers that are circled. Ash thinks he notices patterns in the numbers. 
Did you also notice any patterns? Well, yes, you're right. There is. What do all the numbers in this yellow column end in? Yes, five. They are all ending in five. How about in this blue column? What do all the numbers end in? Yes, zero. So, the pattern is all multiples of five end in zero or five. You can also circle these numbers in your grid. Now let's continue circling the numbers. What numbers should we circle next? Say it. I will circle the numbers as you say them. Yes, 35, followed by 40, and then 45, and 50. Would you say 43 when counting in fives from zero? No. But how did you know? We cannot count 43 when we are counting in fives from zero because the number does not end in zero or five. Its last digit is three. It's sparks and spin time. To make the spinner spin, say spin, sparks, spin. You will have to count in fives starting at the number where the pointer is pointing at, and you will do that either forwards or backwards. Okay, let's begin. Spin, sparks, spin. Start at 40 and count in fives backwards. Forty, thirty-five, thirty, twenty-five, twenty, fifteen, ten, five, zero. Yay! Let's have another one. Spin, sparks, spin. Start at twenty and count in fives forwards. Come on. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. I hope you had fun. We'll have sparks and spin again next time. So, what did we learn today? Let's read together. We learned the multiples of 5. We also learned to count forwards and backwards in 5s from any number. Open your math book and complete page 78, question 5. Bye for now. Take care of yourself. See you in another exciting lesson.